Hi, it's Andy from Get Connected, and I got a very special guest with us. I got Elaine Ma from Intel Canada. Elaine, thanks for spending some time with us. Thank you. Uh, we're here to talk about Ultrabooks. Uh, for the people that don't really understand what an Ultrabook is, could you, can you explain in a nutshell? Sure. So last year, Intel introduced a new category of computer called the Ultrabook, and it's really about no compromise computing that is thin and light, but with all the performance that you could need. Ultra fast, ultra light, and ultra portable. Exactly. It's kind of the best of all three. Uh, you've you've brought some new, and now we're into about the third generation of Ultrabooks right now, correct? correct. So it's amazing how much they've changed in yeah. such a small period of time. And I want to talk because some of them, I really, really love, and I'm so <laughs> glad that you have like this. Let's start with this one. This has got to be my favorite sure. that I've seen in a long, long time. This is from Lenovo. Correct. So as you said, this is a next generation of Ultrabook, and we're calling it Convertible Ultrabook. Well, the Lenovo Yoga, which is this model, looks like a standard laptop. Um, it's called the Yoga because it's so flexible. <laughs> Just like, you know, people who do yoga. Exactly. Isn't that clever? <laughs> so th this is interesting, though. It is it is a full-functioning laptop. Right. But you just put it on here, and it's got a touch screen, and it's running on Windows 8. Right. So as we said, when we talk about no compromise mobile computing, we've taken it to the next level. Mm -hmm. It's intuitive now. Yes. So uh, you have a dock like this, but if I just want to use it as a straight-on tablet... It'll fold all the way back, and you're good to go. This is why I love this laptop. It's just amazing. So you basically have a tablet, you can have it as a stand and put it like kind of like a, you know, to watch movies. Yeah. And then when you want to get back to work, you just flip you're it over and you're good to go. Yeah. So let's move down the line over here. We have, this is the Sony Vio. Correct. This is the Sony Vio Duo. And this is considered uh, a slider convertible because uh, as you can see, it's in full laptop mode, but then it slides down to that tablet functionality. It's great because like they, they kind of do the same thing, but all in a different way. Now, speaking of Ultrabooks, they actually have to meet some specifications. So what's the maximum it can weigh? They can't weigh more than three pounds. Three and pounds. most of these are falling around the two pound mark. So, so this also has a convertible function. And uh, one common theme with all these is that they're running Windows 8. They are one, running Windows 8 and they're powered by the third generation Intel Core processor. Okay, so let's move around. Now this is Dell. I know we don't have any power in this right now, but this also is a convertible as well. Right, so this is the Dell XPS 12, and uh, we have it in uh, presentation mode right now, um, but the screen will flip Ooh, and rotate, look. and then there's your full laptop. Look at that, amazing. It's, it's, it's funny, like they're all doing very similar things, but... They are, just slightly differently. And uh, again, this will uh, fold down to be a full tablet as well. So let's go to the last one here. This is from Samsung. Right, the Ative Smart PC. And uh, the nice thing about this one is that this one is fully detachable. So, so this is basically a tablet and you have a keyboard dock. Does the keyboard dock have battery power in it as well? Do you know? Uh, no. So um, the battery is all with the tablet. Okay. Generally, Ultrabooks, how much do they cost? What we have is a fairly broad range of pricing. So the Samsung Ative Smart PC is starting at uh, $800 with the docking keyboard. The Dell XPS is around $1,100. The Sony Vio Duo starts at about $1,300. Okay. And the Lenovo Yoga is about $1,200. And I would imagine that the prices are all depends on what kind of processor you want, i3, i5, or an i7. Exactly. What we've shown you here and the prices that I've mentioned have been for the Core i5 processor. And because they're Ultrabooks, they all have SSD as well. Correct. Solid state drive for those who, who don't know. And that's a, a very quiet, almost like a, a flash drive, but you're getting super speeds in terms of your You're hardware. getting super speed, but also with a solid state drive, no moving parts. So there's less failure rate. Uh, you don't have to worry about dropping it mm -hmm. um, and having no readable data after that. So uh, it's, it's really a great solution for storage. There you have it, Ultrabooks, ultra fast, ultra portable, and ultra light. Elaine, if people want to get more information about Intel and Ultrabooks in general, where, where do they go? They can go to intel.com slash ultrabooks. There you go, intel.com slash ultrabooks. I'm Andy Barrar from Get Connected with Elaine Ma from Intel Canada, and we'll see you next time. Gotta get, gotta connected. get, gotta get connected.